Hi guys, it's Leanne, Small Town Stitches, and we're back for yet another floss tube video. Um, if you are new, welcome. I hope you enjoy the, the things that you see and consider sticking around. Um, I primarily am a cross stitcher. Sometimes I show crochet, um, but that seems to be kind of few and far between. Um, and I primarily have a love of full coverage cross stitch or any large project it seems um and if you are returning welcome back thanks so much for coming to hang out with me again um as we talk about our projects so today is thursday november 17th so i want to say happy thanksgiving to all of my viewers who are in the states because thanksgiving is a week from today it's next thursday so um we've been kind of hashing things out i'm going over my parents house my husband is working a 24 that day um so i am responsible for bringing the green bean casserole the pumpkin pie and the apple pie so i will probably my parents only live about like 30 minutes north of us um, but I will probably just go over to my mom and dad's house early and cook the green bean casserole at their house. So my computer was dinging. I had to make sure there was nothing work related and there's not anything work related. It's just my, my rest of my nurse is chatting. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Not a lot is going on here. Um, we got our first dusting of snow. I had snow on my car this morning, which is just like a minuscule amount. Um, it looks like Parmesan cheese on the grass, but it's cold. It is, let's see, 23 degrees right now. It's cold outside and I'm not ready for this whatsoever. Um, so we went to my daughter's school. Usually she likes to do drop off. Um, we went there yesterday and made sure her snow pants and her boots or in her locker ready to go for winter time because they have a rule that once the snow hits, if you don't have boots and snow pants, you're not allowed to go play. Um, you have to kind of either stay on the sidewalk or stay inside. So we wanted her to be prepared and have, have that ready. Um, nothing new is going on at work. Um, hubby is actually at work right now. Um, nothing really is new there. Uh, he did not get the full-time spot, which is a, a, a big bummer. Um, one of the two guys that got it, my husband said he, he hoped he was the other one that was going to get it because he's, um, really dedicated and stuff. And the other person, um, is a decent medic, but does nothing to help around the station. Um, he doesn't. He kind of comes in, just sits at his computer, and that's it. He doesn't kind of help clean the station, help maintain the trucks or anything else. So my husband was really upset that that guy got it. So everything happens for a reason. Uh, that's what we keep telling ourselves. But yeah, it was a very disappointing day when we found that out. But other than that, it's just the same old, same old. We've got a little bit of wood split. Um, not as much as we were hoping. Uh, we started getting into it and it was completely soaked inside, which I don't know how. So we're going to have to split that stack it to the side and we can use that next year, but we can't use it this year. It won't be dry in time. Um, but yeah, other than that, we've just been, you know, same old, same old work, homework, the normal day to day life. But I find beauty in that as crazy as it is this 30 days of gratitude that I'm doing on Instagram which is finding something every day to be thankful for really changes your mindset and really really makes you be thankful for the little things and I'm so grateful for that mindset shift instead of the world it's always what what more can I get you know so and so has something that I don't have it's it's very that's been very good for me so let's talk stitching all right, so whip go goals this month are 12 and 24, which for me, 12 was the Sunflower Cottage, which is a Heaven and Earth Designs by Donna Gelsinger. 
And then I had a And then I had a U pick which I plugged in Mary Noel, which is by Sue Hillis Designs. So I think I had started working on the sunflower cottage when we last saw because I filmed on the third. And of course I have a string hanging. Let me move it to the back real quick. I'm not sure if I took a picture of this one after I had filmed last, but this got a total of seven days and I got a total of 1,382 stitches on it. And this is where we are. So, I'm trying to remember where the page line is. I don't remember. But I was getting really flustered with doing all of this blue. All this blue, for the most part, is all 995. Um, so I decided to start my diagonals again and get into some other colors. So if you can see up close, there is quite a bit of different coloring in there. And I was, I'm not a white stitch. I'm, I don't like to stitch with white threads for the most part, but I was so happy to stitch with white threads on this piece because of it being something other than 995. So I'm really liking this. I don't have a complete page finish yet. Um, we're getting close. We're getting close, but I don't have a full page finish yet. But I'm still loving this. I love the bright colors of it. But after a while with all that 995 towards the end, I'm ready to put it away and get something new. <laughs> all right. So then after that... Um, I decided to break my whip go goals up and then I put some of my pieces in between. So <clears throat> for my goal, for my pieces for the month, I have all my, my current whips in a wheel on my phone and I use the tiny decisions app. And what I do is I spin my wheel. The first project it comes up with, I plug it in for three days, I spin it again. The next project it's three days and so forth. And I keep doing that. I don't reset it every month. I use it until the wheel is completely blacked out that it's been used. Then I reset it and I start all over. That way I make sure that all my pieces are getting progress, not just a select few. So when I spun it, I got Mini Yule Kitchen. This was my birthday start for this year. Let me make sure, yes. It's Mini Yield Kitchen, and it is a Heaven and Earth Designs, and its artwork is by Chiro Marchetti. <clears throat> I think I have a picture of where it was. It got three days, like I said, so a total of 536 stitches in three days. And this is where we are. I love this. I love this. There is a lot of confetti in this because it is a mini for the detail, but I'm loving how you can see the hutch starting to form. You got the wheat hanging and you can see all the tiles in the background and I absolutely love this. Um, I'm so happy. So this is where we are now. So exciting. Um, this is stitched on a it's either an 18 or 20 I can't exactly tell right now. <laughs> All right so my next piece I spun I will insert a picture it is Autumn Blessing this is by Shannon Christine Design this was my new year, new start for 2022. And I am stitching it along with Heather, who is on Instagram now only. She took down her YouTube channel and she is the blessed stitcher. Um, this is where I was. 
and I got another block done. So I got three days, like I said, and I got a total of 810 stitches on it. And here we are now. So I got the double pot of sunflowers down here done. I love it. I love this piece. It's just so bright and cheery. And I love sunflowers, they're my favorite. And this is stitched on an 18 count Ada from Be Stitch Me in the color Grog is what I'm stitching this on. Back when I was a part of the Fabric of the Month. No shade to Fabric of the Month. I have been a part of theirs. I have been a part of Color and Cottons, which I loved. I have been a part of To Die For Fabrics when they did it. Um, I sometimes do the dyeing for cross stitch. The dyeing for cross stitch is different. They post on their website and you just look at it and order it and they have a discounted rate for the, the fabric of the month. But I have come to realize I don't need a ton of random fabrics laying around when I primarily stitch large pieces and I could just order them for that as I need them instead of having a giant supply of fabrics. Same kind of goes for my threads. I used to have a very large supply. I did all the threads of the month. I've done them through Victorian Motto. I've done them through Color and Cotton, Bee Stitch Me, different, you know, various things. But now I have a, a, a supply built up. I'm not doing those because the most part I'm stitching with DMC on full coverage. <laughs> so... Now, if you've got a fabric or a thread of the month where I can get a bunch of DMC, sign me up for that. All right. So then my last thing I spun for that was, I have a finish. Unheard of. This is finish number two for me for the year. But this was Sweeping Cobwebs by the Prairie Schooler. I am doing this one. I did take a picture of where it was. we are done here it is now I love it what am I gonna do with it I have no idea no clue and I really like it on this fabric it's like a mottled green gray grungy fabric I really like it on this this fabric was an unnamed from dying for cross stitch back when she would just randomly post things and you would kind of me please it so I have a bunch of the fabric left over though. So I have a finish, finish number two for the year. And then we have mini hometown hero <laughs> firefighter. Again, it is a heaven and earth designs. Artwork is by Donna Gelsinger. Shocker. This is where we were. It is on a hoop. It's an active project every single day. Here we are. So we're continuing more down. We've got, got whole stool is done. The whole hat is done. This corner of the bag is done. I'm so excited. So excited. So <clears throat> yesterday when I finished sweeping cobwebs, I ended up instead of switching to um and instead of switching to a different project, I just worked on this and I got 300 stitches on it yesterday. <clears throat> but I haven't recalculated it to see what it would be. I'm technically ahead as of right now by like 300 stitches for the month for where I'm at. I got 1,929 1, stitches so far and this is, you know, as of the 16th. So I'm 300 ahead for the month. So that's three days shaved off. <laughs> but that's where we are. 
So excited. All right. Let's talk giveaway. So I had so many comments and it was so interesting to see how people used the word hate and everything else like that. I put my video link in the YouTube comment picker and um, we have a winner. I will insert a picture um, and the winner is Betty. It's, I believe it's Hankins. So congratulations, Betty. Get a hold of me. I um, My email is listed below. Um, my Instagram, you can hit me up on there too. On Instagram, I'm homesteading and crafts. But get a hold of me and we will we will get your, your chart to you. So congratulations, I'm so excited. And I hope you enjoy stitching it and love them as much as I do. So I had some floss come in. A lot of floss come in. This is my floss for the farmer's market by Amy Stewart. So I'm slowly getting those ready. And then my daughter decided that she wanted to pick out a full coverage project for her. I'm stitching this one for my husband. My husband has two more that I'm stitching actually for him right now. He's got a motorcycle piece and he's got the cigar box that he knows about and then he's got firefighter that he does not. So my daughter wanted to pick out a piece and if you know my daughter, you know this is her. So this is Beginner T-Rex. It is by David Penfound. And this is the piece that she has chosen for mom to stitch for her. So I need to get floss. Um, because I think what I'm going to try to do is to make this a focus piece after firefighter is done. Because I, I want to move on it kind of quickly because I don't want to give it to her when she doesn't like dinosaurs anymore. So I'm excited, but now I need to get fabric and floss for another one. <laughs> I have a goal and I think my goal for next year is going to be no buying stuff for myself. Um, now, if I need run out of a DMC color or something like that, I will allow myself to buy it. But I'm going to try really hard unless I get money from like my birthday or, you know, something like that. I'm going to try really hard to not buy things for me and see how long that that lasts. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we have the we have the winner. We showed you what I bought but I'm stitching. I think that's pretty much it. I need to figure out what to pull up for dinner for food. So I, I menu plan for two weeks at a time. Um, so I have all my meals planned out for this week and next week, but I just gotta figure out what we're gonna eat tonight. Um, so yeah, I think that's all for me. I don't think I have anything else. I have been watching a lot of floss tube. I've been going back and watching, you know, people's ones from the beginning that, that are new to me that I've been finding. I'll try to link the people that I'm watching or have been watching recently below because I'm horrible sometimes with commenting. I'm, I'm not always the greatest with that because a lot of time I'm watching floss tube while I am either A, working, or B, stitching. So I'll just move on to the next one and forget to leave comments. So, um, okay. I think that's going to be all for me. I guess I should see if there's anything work-wise that they have for us yet. Nope, there's still nothing. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Remember, your mental health is important and to take time for yourself each and every day in whatever form that is and to be a light to the world around you.
I hope you have a great Thanksgiving and I will see you guys later. Bye.